Once you sign in your OctoSniff account, simply go to Downloads. And you're going to have to download and install this runtime file. Make sure it's the runtime file and not the developer pack. If you can install it, then you'll most likely have to update your PC. You can do that by checking for updates in your Windows settings. If you're on the latest update, you might not have to install this at all. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click Enable Beta. And you're going to open Windows Defender or any other antivirus you have. And you're going to turn off your real-time protection settings. Once that's off, simply download the software. For WinPCAP to install, you have to have a lower version than it. So make sure if you have NPCAP or WinPCAP 10 to uninstall it first and then run this. Before launching the program, we're simply going to open up our antivirus again. We're going to exclude the whole folder. We're going to click folder. Go to program files 86. Select just the whole OctoSniff folder. Once that's excluded, you can turn on real-time protection again. And close that and launch the software. Once you sign in, it should receive an update. The antivirus may block the update, so before clicking OK, simply open it. Go to protection history. And it should be a temp file. We're just going to go to actions and allow on device. As you can see here, since we already installed WinPCAP 4.1.3, we don't have to install it again. We're just going to click cancel. Now, before we even launch the software, we're going to allow it through your Windows firewall. You're going to open control panel. You're going to system and security. Allow an app through the Windows firewall. Change settings. Allow another app. Browse. You're going to go to Program Files 86, find the OctoSniff folder, open it, choose OctoSniff, click Open, Add, you're going to make sure it's checked in both boxes, simply click OK, and you're done. So to set up OctoSniff wired with your game console so you don't have to use ARP spoofing, you need an Ethernet cable that's going to go from your computer into your game console. So the first thing you're going to want to do is Open Network and Sharing, and change adapter settings. Once you plug the Ethernet cable in from your computer to your game console, it should pop up here. We're simply going to rename this to whatever you like. Once that's renamed, we're going to connect to our VPN. So your VPN should always be a TAP V9 adapter. It may be different depending on what you're in your app. If you don't want to use a VPN, you're simply going to share from your Wi-Fi. Once we're connected to the VPN, we're simply going to right click, properties, sharing, we're going to put a check mark in this top box. And then we're going to choose our PlayStation console or Xbox, whatever. If you don't have this drop down menu, it's okay. Just simply put a check mark here, click OK. From that point, we're going to head over to our PlayStation. Now that we've shared the connection on our game console, we're just simply going to go to Network. We're going to set up a new LAN cable connection. While this is testing, we're simply going to open up OctoSniff.
and at the top for the interface, we're going to choose the adapter we renamed. I renamed mine to PS3, PS4, Xbox One. We're simply going to select that. If there's not an IP there, that's fine. Just ignore it. So once the connection passes, as you can see here, the PlayStation shows up. Now we're going to load up GTA. Now that we've loaded into a GTA session, we're just going to click sniff. Now we're going to test out Decrypt. Decrypt only works for PS4. star star and then the username means it's from the resolver database that means someone else using octosniff last decrypted them on that gamer tag so if they change their gamer tag or they got assigned someone else's ip you can always update those by re-decrypting them